Welcome to the Getting Started with Drumagog tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Drumagog's basic controls. We're using Logic Express 8 with some basic drum tracks. First, we'll click play on the transport. Then we'll solo the kick drum track. Next, we'll browse to Drumagog Fixed Latency in Logic's Insert menu. As soon as we instantiate Drumagog, it automatically begins replacing the original kick sound with a sample in real time. Now we can audition several sounds to determine which one works for our mix. Next, we'll navigate to the lower right corner and select the Visual button to open Visual Triggering. The kick drum track is scrolling from right to left, while the sensitivity and resolution remain superimposed on top of the audio. The waveform peaks, representing the hits of the kick drum, are at the top. The bleed through is represented towards the bottom. When Drumagog triggers on a drum hit, the corresponding audio will have a white dot at the top of the waveform. Adjusting the sensitivity is as easy as clicking on the horizontal line with the mouse and dragging it up and down. In most cases, the resolution should be left at auto if you're using advanced triggering. However, if the drum track you're working with is noisy, you may want to increase this value so Drumagog won't falsely trigger. This is done by moving the resolution line right to left. Now we'll go back to the normal screen by selecting the analog button in the lower right hand corner. The sensitivity and resolution bars in visual triggering correspond with the same sensitivity and resolution knobs in analog view. Now we're going to dial in the sound even more by using the blend and pitch controls. The blend control simply mixes the original audio with the selected sample. The pitch control lowers or raises the pitch of the drum. For this tutorial, we'll set the pitch control to minus 19. Now we'll listen to our new kick drum sound within the mix. From here, we can continue to build up the rest of the drum track. This concludes the Getting Started tutorial. 